Indonesia. Indonesia. Uh, today is 7th of May, and this is, uh, you know, uh, we are in the Shakhtar, Shakhtar Arena. In the Shakhtar, in the Shakhtar Arena, yeah. uh, this is the place is, uh, where is uh, playing the, fa the well, uh, famous uh, 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 Shakhtar Donetsk. Shakhtar Donetsk. Mm -hmm. Now, after the the war, no, the war, well, the, the team was um, is not here anymore, no, but. Uh, the stadium exists here, no, and also there is a, a well. The people are playing here. They are a new team, no. Uh, and then uh, let's go there because I want to show you. <coughs> you are from Britain. Yes. You like football? I do like football, but I um, I don't know. I'm a bit disillusioned with it. <laughs> what is your favorite team? Well, I support a team. Well, I support Arsenal. Ah, the Arsenal. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> team of the world. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, I, I think know, that all, like everybody, we're, we're sick of the corporate nature of football these days, you know. So yeah. I support another team, which is a small team, very small team, uh -huh. which is near where I live, and they're called Hendon, which uh -huh. is an area in London. Uh -huh. And well, it's more like real. Yeah, know? more real, no? Yeah. Uh, here I want to see you, Greece, uh, you, you see, this, this, yeah, this ball is very cool. funny, no? Uh, that, that people, usually tourists are coming here to, you know, to show that you are very strong. The guy, you know, you see. Yeah. Like Atlas. Like Atlas. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very strong though. Uh, 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 you know, it's, it's what do you think? It's, it's beautiful, yeah, you know, this stuff. Huh? It is, it is. It's very, very it's original actually. It's yeah. pretty pretty original. Uh, uh, well, uh, and then uh, let's go here no? to the to the area of uh, more, more the Sakta area. The I mean the the, the stadium. It's beautiful that yes. eh? So, what? and this was built for the uh, championships 2012. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here was, was uh, early England. Yeah, you are right. You are right. Here, well, this is the you know, uh, that, <coughs> how to say, it's beautiful, no, city, actually. Uh, all, all now is full of flowers, no, and, and well, the war, uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, stopped, no, this city, because it was the, I thought it was the, uh, the most de developed area, no, in, in the, in, in the Ukraine, yes. actually, no. Uh, uh, all, all the industries. Yeah, all the all the all the strong industries yeah, here. Minerals, everything is here, no? uh, And then the thing is that I think this is one of the of the origins of the war as well, eh? mm -hmm. because I think somehow it was kind of embay no? from the side of the west. They embay these pe these people, this area. It's rich. It's a it's a, it's a wealthy area, no? uh, very, very developed, and, and also. <laughs> One of the, ca the causes of the war is that, actually, no? The, the I, I think an interesting point, because um, every, everyone remembers that the reason, really, the crisis developed was uh, because of this uh, association agreement with the EU. Uh -huh. and, the uh, association agreement was very terrible for this area. Yes, because, <laughs> like, in England, for example, uh, Britain, one of the reasons... Um, why we voted to leave the EU was because uh, we can't, it's illegal for us to support our um, industry. Industry, exactly. And Margaret Thatcher destroyed most of our industry, but there, there is still some. It's still the same industry. Um, and like, for example, there's uh, steel, steel works in uh -huh. South Wales, and uh, it's illegal for the British government mm -hmm. to assist. Uh, yeah, 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 uh, the, the uh, companies. The, uh, company like, uh, you know, Tata Steel is called, and. Uh, it's illegal, and uh, if we're out the EU, um, then we can determine our own affairs, and um, we can end up, we can assist. I'm not saying that the Conservative government necessarily would. I doubt they would. But the thing is, we now have uh, a return to real politics because we, the people, determine our own affairs. And if we want to elect a Labour government, we can. If we want to elect a Tory government, we can. So how, so the, the important thing is, uh, this government is an independent nation. Huh? It's uh, free of control from Brussels. Yeah. Well, you're in the kingdom. Well, uh, when... Uh, well, you're in the kingdom, maybe, no. But, but this one, this one really, they didn't want to join the European Union. The people here didn't want to join the European yes, Union. Yes. And also, they didn't want to be part of the Euro-Atlantic axis. Yes. Uh, mainly for uh, economic reasons, actually. But, uh, economic reasons and also, also because they, they didn't want to uh, belong to uh, a military alliance that is yes. enemy of their, their their brothers that are here the brothers, they are Russian here the yeah. people culturally yes. culturally the people here speak Russian yes. and they feel not exactly Russian but quite Russian you understand but you know? they also knew I agree with all that but they also and this is why I mentioned Britain sorry I lost my thread um, 
was because they understood here that their um, industry also would be um, devastated. Yeah, 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 they understood, right? they understood. And the, the government wouldn't be able to help it or Exactly, whatever. exactly, exactly. Uh, and, and they, would uh, be, they would be under the dictat of uh, uh, exactly. uh, the European Union. Exactly, so, uh, and also, and also, and also the, the they, were, they were not in need, uh, you don't know something, but when you speak about em emigration, uh, emigration, it's true that part of the Ukrainian population were looking for jobs uh, in the European Union, but others were coming here to, to work here in Donetsk. And usually my friends here in Donetsk told me, oh, Miguel, uh, I got offered to go to work to United Kingdom. I didn't go. Why? For what? I, I was, this city, it was nice. Before, before the conflict, eh? it was easy find, very easy, uh, it was extremely easy finding a job. Uh, the people were, were feel wealthy. You know, I mean, well, in this city you can find everything. Um, uh, and the people had money in the pocket. You know, I mean? uh, and the people had a good uh, living standard here. Uh, I have been speaking with many people about that. They told me, look, uh, here in 2012, 2011, you know, I mean, this city was wonderful. After we had a modern airport, the city is modern. Um, uh, here it was very easy to find a job. Uh, 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 well, in comparison with the, the prices were low and the price and the salaries were uh, quite good uh, for, for, for the standard of Ukraine. You understand, you know? And the people were living kind of happy here. I mean, didn't have any problem. And also here is a city that you know perfectly. It's probably the less racist city in Ukraine. It was not uh, really, these people is a working area, you know, where work, uh, there are uh, 120 nationalities here. In Donetsk, and many languages are spoken. So uh, it's very open uh, society. Let's say it was uh, open, open to, to, to everybody. You understand, you know. Uh, but the problem is that well, it's a, it was a wealthy city as well. Uh, no city area, a wealthy area. Uh, and probably uh, I, I don't know what what, what happened, but uh, part of the Ukraine were very angry with these people. They didn't like them because they were not speaking Ukrainian. You know? And also because uh, they, they, they feel envy, envy, uh, envy, kind of envy, you know, for for the well, here, no? and this is the, one of the other of the causes, no, that explain all this terrible conflict, no, that, that destroy Ukraine, no. Uh, they, let's go there to to <clears throat> to the because we still have some time, no, to this monument, no, that is uh, <clears throat> beautiful as well. Uh, it's a monument of the dedicated to the, uh, you know dedicated to the uh, partisans and also the soldiers mm -hmm. that were fighting against uh, the Nazi, the Nazi occupation. You know, this uh, Donetsk was occupied by, by Nazis and destroyed by, by the Nazi, you know, uh, well, a, mil, a half thousand of people were killed here, you know. Uh, and then the people re re here, uh, they, they know, uh, they, they, they remember about that, you know. The, 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 everybody has here, the, uh, somebody was killed in their families. So, you know, uh, they know who, who killed them. They know. Not only the Nazis, also the Ukrainian collaborators. Uh, people know here that many, uh, many people from the west of Ukraine came and collaborated with the Nazi or, or occupants. You know? And so this is because there is this uh, historical issue here you know, as well. Uh, people consider that Bandera uh, uh, it was a criminal because many of the banderies and also nationalists uh, were collaborating with uh, that, no? You understand me, no? I mean... <laughs> and it's the same. Yes, yes, I know. A uh, similar story all over the former Soviet Union, World War II. Uh, terrible price they paid for um, the defeat of Hitler. And, uh, well, what today? Today's the 7th of May. Uh, in two days' time, the 9th of May. I wish yeah. I was still here for that because, um, yeah. well, I know not only here but in. Uh, <laughs> the chair is very funny, you see? There you go. <laughs> Cute kid. In, uh, in all Russian cities, there'll be, every, like there is every day on the 9th of May. They don't forget World War II. Uh, World War II is etched uh, into the Russian um, psyche. It's like um, you have to come to Russia or a place like this to, to understand it, to feel that mm -hmm. it. it's like. It's so in their blood what happened here between uh, in 1941 to 45, mm -hmm. and uh, you just have to talk to anybody about World War Two, and you'll get some hair-raising stories. I remember the first time I came to the Soviet Union was actually I was a kid, mm -hmm. and uh, it was 1983, mm -hmm. and I met a guy who must have only been about 40 then, or maybe he was a bit older, 50, I don't know, but. Um, you know, and he was one of seven brothers, 
and he was the youngest of seven brothers and all six of his brothers died in World War II and mm -hmm. that kind of story is not unusual in Russia it's actually very common that kind of thing so yeah it's uh, I think more people should come here and well, uh, here I tell you, you know, that, 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 that this conflict, there is an uh, economic issue behind, but also there is uh, historical uh, factors, no? because uh, here the city was, uh, well, destroyed by the Nazis, and also people remind, remember that there were also, well, people coming from, from the from Lidov, uh, the ultranationalists that came here also, yeah. uh, they were collaborating with, um, with, well, with, the, with the troops of, of, of Adolf Hitler. That, that, that's the truth. Uh, and then the situation is, this is because the people were so opposed, uh, I mean, the area of the Donbass, opposed to the Maidan. Uh, you understand me? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> and, then, and then this is uh, one of the, uh, the reasons that explain uh, this conflict. Uh, you know, the media, the Western media, it looks like, uh, you know, everybody was supporting the Maidan, but this is not true. <laughs> it was a tiny faction of, of the of the Ukrainian society, actually. Um, uh, the regions uh, in the uh, eastern area of Ukraine and in the south they were not supporting the Maidan. You understand? You know? uh, uh, and then, well, yeah, simply, yeah, yeah. Oh, and Crimea, and Crimea, of course, they were not supporting the Maidan. So those people were not doing anything. Actually, were not protesting. Yeah, the problem is that they, they, they created a coup. I mean, uh, it's very easy. You you give weapon to to a group of, of violent radical, train it money in the pocket and, and just take the parliament you enter the parliament and try to assassinate the president and you call them heroes through a campaign with the media the media you know uh, you call them heroes you are uh, freedom fighters and guys they are, they are here uh, let's say 50,000 this is anything or, or 100,000 people this is anything this is anything in, in, in the in the Ukrainian country uh, country has a, a, around 40 40 50 million people you know what, what they represent 200,000 anything especially here in the east in the uh, here uh, uh, and these people were not participating in that no uh, and Yanukovych uh, had a problem and uh, here the people say that he was an idiot because he could take the government and the parliament and move to Donetsk like like, uh, like, like in the times, uh, it was the point, uh, they offered it, they offered the Yanukovych to come here with the, with, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I the, don't think he was the kind of caliber of leader who would have um, well, uh, to, uh, uh, like, like, like happened in the, in the Spanish Republic, the Spanish Republic, the, the, the capital, the government was moved from Madrid to Valencia. Mm. And, and thanks to that, this movement was very clever because it uh, lasted m more time, the, the Republic. Yeah. You know, because they, they managed to, to, to... Because, you know, it was surrounded already in Madrid. So the, 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 the government and the parliament decided to move to, to, to Valencia and they stayed there. No? And Yanukovych could do the same. Just simply leaving, leaving, Don, leaving Don, uh, Kiev, come here, and then I am here the president, I, I here is the parliament. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it would have been yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, internationally, internationally, I mean, Sorry, uh, the the legi le legitimacy is not in the place, yes. but in the people. Yes. This is something that this, yes. these people don't understand. The, the legitimacy of, of of the Shakhtar Donetsk is not is actually the people of Donetsk. You understand? You know, uh, this is the legitimacy. The, the Donetsk National Technical University right now is not in Donetsk. It's in a village or in a small town out of Donetsk. But you know, uh, sorry, uh, you don't have professors from here. You don't have the rector. You don't have the, the structure. Mm, the 90% of teachers and people are here. You understand? So uh, with the, with, it happened the same with Yanukovych. He had the chance to... The, the legitimacy was not in the place, in the Rada. The Rada can be uh, here in, in Kiev, but in other place. So the thing is that, uh, the, I mean, this was a mistake. Uh, and this guy was an, even an idiot. So, so say, and was not really a good politician. Mm. But uh, I, I know, he had the, the chance, eh, because I know. I know that the, here the people, somebody told me, and I read, that was offering no, this, this chance no, to, to go to, to here, to, to, to Kharkiv, Kharkiv or, or here, to, to, to Kharkov or to Donetsk. And he just simply... Yeah, he was I, scared. I think um, Empire has uh, is is very clever. They've, they've had um, hundreds of years to develop this. You know, the British Empire yeah. of ruling people by dividing them and and conquering. And they can uh, they could uh, very uh, of course there were legitimate uh, problems that uh, were here in Ukraine and people had um, legitimate grievances with what was going on. But the hmm. Empire. Today it's what I would call the NATO Empire, and we all know who's running that show. Um, well, 
they can mount a press media operation. They can um, they can tell the people who who wanted to overthrow Yanukovych, send them very clear signals just by sending politicians like John McCain um, and uh, what's her name from the European Union, Baroness Baroness, Baroness, Baroness Ashton. Ashton, to visit the Maidan, hand out food, etc. It's a very clear signal. We support you, go ahead, mount a coup. I mean, it's as simple as that. <laughs> That's it, no? And, um, well, <laughs> well you know, th thank you, no, for the interview. You, you see this uh, amazing monument eh, of the dedicated to the memory of the soldiers, no, yeah. and also partisans that were fighting against the the, well, the, the, the Nazi occupation. Okay, so I want to take. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to take out there for taking some pictures and so on. So, thank you, Cass. This is Donetsk. Today is 7th of May. This is Gonzo Blogger. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you for following me. Thank you for for your support. And also, you know, you have found even in my page a place for donate. Donate some for my job. No, I am working here as a blogger. No, some donation is good all the time. It's always welcome. Thank you.